Okay, hi there my friends. Allow me to uh, share and discuss with you how I design and uh, conduct uh, installation of uh, uh, paralleling of conductors at the service entrance and the panel board equipment based on the PEC 2017. Actually this uh, paralleling of conductor is uh, applicable for both the single phase and the three phase uh, system. But before I proceed further, I would like it. I would like to invite you to please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet in my channel, so that uh, uh, you can be updated and uh, with all my future and forthcoming uh, um, other topics to share with you in my channel. Five reasons why design engineers would require paralleling of conductors arrangements to the design. The first one is to value engineering. Actually, the smaller the sizes, the economical and cheaper the uh, wire sizes in the market compared to single conductors, a large uh, single conductors actually. So, kung magkaparalel tayo small one, it's better. The larger diameter of wire size is not available on the market. This is true. A large wire size is not uh, practical for applications and some equipment. Napakahirap i, i pasok ka uh, ang mga wires na mabibigat at malaki sa mga MCCB kung magdeterminate ka rito sa mga switch gear, etc. The smaller wire sizes in per which is minimum 50 mm squared are most convenient to lay out bend and pull inside the PVC, IMC, RC pipes or conduits and the likes compared to the bigger sizes of single conductors and you know, the fifth one is it increases the wire opacity ng mga parallel on conductors with just uh, sizes of wires as that of the large and single conductors I will prove this to you in my succeeding uh, discussion with you this one Uh, mga rules and compliance natin sa conductors in parallel the first one is you're gonna use only copper conductors uh, instead of aluminum because uh, most of our projects or uh, mga wires by gamagamit ay ng copper conductors yeah, the PC allows uh, you to uh, con uh, parallel uh, the conductors uh, minimum of 50 mR and larger only Okay, hindi ka pwedeng bumaba sa, F, sa 50 m, mm squared pag ikaw ay nag-parallel uh, ng mga conductors according to uh, that is uh, in compliance with the PEC. So ito yung mga uh, ano nang, uh, factors to comply with the uh, parallel ng conductors. First, uh, uh, the same length dapat ito. Mga wires rito ay dapat the same length dyan all throughout the same conductor materials kung yan ay uh, 99 100% copper lahat lang mga uh, materials mo dyan mga ay dapat 100% copper walang 99 walang 98 na combination dyan the same cross sectional area kung ang uh, sizing mo ay uh, 80 mm squared sa isang face lahat dyan ay dapat 80 mm squared walang combination na uh, 80 mm squared and 75 mm squared sa bawat uh, phase okay para magkaroon ka ng uh, 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 equal opacity of wires per phase okay mga insulation type mo dito ay dapat THC kung THC uniformly THC sa bawat phase walang combination na THC and TW na 80 mm squared kung 80 mm squared yung mga yan dapat yan yung form ng isang insulation type lang and uh, be terminated in the same manner so lahat ng mga termination nyo rito ay dapat uh, maka terminate yan uh, in the same manner sa mga PVC lang kung ngayon ay mga PVC lang gagamitin yung lahat PVC lahat all throughout kung ngayon mga RC REC all throughout walang combination ng uh, conduits na uh, PVC and the uh, REC sa isang uh, uh, sets ng iyong uh, parallel of conductors because of the will play big factors ang uh, impedance sa bawat uh, conduits na materials 
example number one natin dito sa service entrance ay meron tayong 500 amps na single conductor feeder three phase system at dating ito parallel in three sets ito so and the answer to that is uh, the 500 amps here we have to divide this in three because uh, tayo magti three sets so meron tayong 166.6 amperes so kung uh, based dun sa PEC 310.2.6B uh, ito ito yan column sa na 75 degrees bakit pa 75 degrees ang ang kinawa natin hindi 60 degrees or hindi 90 degrees mainly because this is uh, above 100 amps okay so meron tayong uh, rules to follow in this table 310.2.6 na pwede natin gamitin dyan ay 60 degrees and 75 degrees itong 90 degrees ay para lamang ito sa derating ito Pero ang ginagamit talaga natin dyan ay either 60 or 75 degrees. Uh, 100 uh, arms and above, we will use this uh, 75 degrees and uh, 60 degrees or below. Itong ano na to, pwede natin gamitin ito sa ang 90 degrees dito ng mga wires ng THHN. Dito sa 75 degrees or either sa 60 degrees. It depends kung uh, babasahin nyo yung aking uh, tutorial dito sa table 316 sa aking uh, YouTube channel then you'll find out how to use the 60 and 75 and the 90 degrees so for the meantime we since we have this uh, uh, 303 uh, this uh, 166.6 amperes and we are going to use this uh, 75 degrees and this 75 degrees we are uh, bound to make a choice two choices here meron kang 165 ampacity which is equivalent to 60 mm squared na wire sizes at ito namang isa ay 190 ampacities na meron siyang corresponding 80 mm squared alin ang gagamitin natin dito sa ating katangunan kung 166.6 amperes ang nakuha natin hindi pwede itong 155 ampacity because mababa Okay, kailangan mas mataas dito sa 166.6 amperes. So, ang pinaka-appropriate niyan ay itong 190 ampacity. Uh, uh, ampacity na may equivalence na 80 mm squared. Yan ang gagamitin natin dito sa ating uh, uh, conduit. Okay, so meron tayong kalalabasan dyan ay and then 3 sets of 380 mm squared RYB plus ang ating GEC na 22 mm squared ay makikita natin dito sa table 2.20.317 which is equivalent to 22 mm squared okay so meron kang 3 sets of 380 mm squared RYB plus 1 mm squared to WG GEC okay so paano natin ipoprove itong tinatawag natin na mas mataas ang mga ampacities ng mga parallel ng conduct ang parallel ng conductors yung more reduced sizes of wires okay meron tayo dito ng 80 mm squared na merong ampacity siya na 190 so kung i-arcon natin yung 190 ita times natin yan sa 3 dahil tatlong wires yan sa isang uh, ano plus yung edges mo and grounded so meron siya 0 27 so meron siyang 570 amperes okay yun ang positive siya maximum positive ng wires which is higher than this 500 amperes so that proves to na ang ating positive ng mga ay mas mataas kaysa sa mga large uh, single conductors okay now let's go to the uh, second one. Meron naman tayo single phase ng mga panel board equipment dito. Ang ating uh, panel board equipment niya, meron 500 amps na single feeder is going to be paralleled in a single phase panel board equipment in 4 sets naman ito. So meron tayong 500 na feeder ang positive niya. I-divide natin yan sa 4 and we shall get this 125 amperes. Okay, ito yung 25 amperes natin. 
and we, we are going to use the 75 degrees according to the PEC 210.2.16 so it's B16 75 then uh, bibigyan tayo ng tricen ang dalawang tricens ito ang 115 ang positive na mayroong uh, corresponding wires na 38 mm squared o itong 140 ang positive na mayroong 50 mm squared equivalent na size of wire. So, wala yung gagamitan natin. 125 yan. Hindi ka pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung 150 na third and positive dahil mababa siya sa 125. Instead, you are going to use this uh, higher and positive 140 uh, which is equivalent to 50 mm squared na wire size natin. So, ang ating wire size dito na magagamit ay Four sets of 2 mm squared. Bakit 2 mm squared? Because single face ito, may 3 wires lang dito sa ating face. Isang dalawang 250 mm squared na THSM plus yung kanyang EGC. So sa bawat face na yan ay mayroon siyang 250 mm squared plus yung EGC niya. Ang EGC niya, paano natin makukuha yan? We have to base it on the uh, breaker breaker uh, ratings which is 500 amps and based on this you have this 30 mm so yan yan 30 mm in basin mo error route mo yan sa bawat uh, per pace okay okay i hope you have learned something in my tutorial thank you for thank you folks and stay safe thanks